Hey, what's up? It's Chris from JugglingSecrets.com and in this video, you're gonna learn how to do different column patterns. Okay, so when we get started, the first thing to keep in mind is the columns pattern is actually just two balls in one hand. Like you'll see here, there's nothing, nothing in the other hand. It's just like over here doing its own thing. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to practice two balls in one hand to get good at this. And you'll notice that it's not doing what I taught in the four ball video. And if you haven't watched the four ball video, there should be a card. I don't know if it's on that side or that side, but it'll open it up and teach you how to juggle four balls. And that's mainly just two balls in each hand, right? So give it a thumbs up if you watch that one. Okay, so to practice this, to practice the columns, what you wanna do is make sure you're comfortable with the two balls in one hand. And instead of having it go in like the circle, uh, like the circular pattern or whatever it's whatever you want to call it they're going to go up and down in columns right just like the big pillars on like old houses and stuff so what's happening is oops they're uh they're not crossing like if i do this you can see that the balls are just going straight up and down like staying in their their little column area and what you'll do is you'll practice this and it's it's just like my normal thing like practice this for 50 throws and once you get this and you can have them go like side to side, all you got to do with this hand is just, you know, match whether you want to do it with the outside ball or the inside ball. Okay, so one thing that you probably should do is practice with both hands, right? Because you're, whether it's your right hand or your left hand dominant, you're going to be better at one than the other. So you need to practice this and the idea is once you can get, get good at both, um, Overall, you're just, your whole flow, your whole routine, everything's gonna be more comfortable and you're gonna just be more confident in what you're doing. And what you can do is you can like play around with the movement and you can actually switch hands that you're doing this once you get good at it. Like, oops, we'll uh, do like the outside ones. You'll notice I can switch hands so it's kind of like juggling between hands. Does that make sense? Uh, if you notice, like I'm throwing, I'm doing, I'm starting with the columns on the right hand, but then it switches over to the left hand. Oops. And this is, it, it looks like, it doesn't really look like much, but it feels fun. So it's something that you can like practice just to get more comfortable with catching in your hands. Okay, so one of my favorite tricks here is once you're doing the three ball columns like this and it's like the outside ball and the left hand throw are matched up just like this what you do is the fake column where you just you know put this hand up and if you mix this in with a normal pattern it looks kind of fun and it's really easy to do like you just literally like raise your hand okay so another thing that is it was my mom's favorite and this is what I used to do when I would like juggle for little kids and stuff uh, for like talent shows and birthday parties and things like that when I was younger. And it's doing this, like the two in one hand and then and make like a funny face with like a like stick your tongue out. But all you got to do is if you can practice maneuvering the ball around your head like a like Saturn's rings, like just circle your head and then you can throw the balls and make like a funny face. It always gets like a little laugh because it's it looks kind of funny. You feel really foolish when you do it, at least I do. Um, but it's worth it if somebody like laughs, right? So that's another trick that you can do when you're doing like column practice stuff. So that's it for this little column tutorial. If you have questions or anything, ask them down below in the comments. That way I can like create stuff that's helpful for you. And in there's in the description down below, there's gonna be other resources linked up to other videos and I'll link up a playlist after this video ends and like the screen pops up where you can learn other tricks. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, click that button down below. And if you figured out how to do this, tell me in the comments. So that way I can give you a thumbs up and be like super stoked because you did it. So I'll see you in the next video.